Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Demo Player with VR Spectate how-to video. Today we're going to talk about the Replay Spectator. Now what is the Replay Spectator? The Replay Spectator is actually the player controller that runs around inside of the replay itself. So as the replay is playing, the, the player controller that moves around and has all the function and inputs is actually um, the Replay Spectator. And that's something we need to set up from our demo player content. So basically, uh, if you had remember from an earlier video, what we want to do is go to content and uh, um, if you do not have these, these um, this content demo player content, you need to go to view options and make sure you have show plugin content checked and also show engine content. And once those are checked, these classes do uh, appear at the bottom of your browser. So if you scroll down to demo player content, where you see we have blueprints. And these blueprints will have something called PC underscore demo spectator. When we open that up, we can see that this uh, blueprint class is derived from our demo player uh, controller C++ class. This is where we have our HUD. This is uh, pretty much where we come into the game and we uh, create our, our HUD and all our inputs uh, for whenever we want to go into VR mode or um, toggle the HUD and, and also the input uh, for anything. Also, if you want to extend uh, more functions for your own specific game, this would be one area to do it in. So let's go ahead and create a new blueprint based off this PC underscore demo spectator. So we'll go into uh, our project folder and um, create a new folder for that under my blueprint folder. Right click and um, a new blueprint class and I want to go ahead and get that PC demo spectator class. And let's go ahead. It's pretty cool that um, you, you're actually creating a blueprint from a blueprint from a C++ class. So it's pretty cool to do multiple inheritance that we can do with this. Uh, let's go ahead and select this uh, to create it. And I will go ahead and call this um, PC for naming conventions, uh, player controller, replay, spectator. All right. Fantastic. Uh, when we do open this up, some of the settings that you, you, uh, you have in here... Um, concerning playback, we can come back at this at some other point, but basically the one to look out for is under demo settings and our, um, our details panel. Uh, what we have here is our uh, default playback speed, so right now when you use your mouse wheel scroll up and down, we go between 0.1 and then 8, uh, 0.0, uh, 8 times the speed. So you can actually add more states if you want in here. I know that was something that was asked before, so I wanted to go over that specifically. Uh, so we can go ahead and add more states if we want to. All right, so basically once we have our spectator class, we need to actually assign that to our game mode. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. So I'll go ahead and save that. And we go over to our game mode. Uh, we go over to the world settings. And if you don't have your world settings here, you can go over to here, the world settings, and I'll pop up your panel down here. So once you look at the world settings, um, you'll see that with this map, I purposely had a, a blank project started off with. Uh, there is actually no, we use a default game mode, there is really not, no override. So I will go ahead and create a, uh, uh, a new game mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Do a quick game mode. Uh, I just want to do basic game mode, not game mode base. All right, select that. Or you can do game mode base, it doesn't really matter. Uh, All right, so once that's been created, I'll go ahead and uh, name it GM uh, Project Replay. All right, uh, or how about a mo uh, Game with Replay? There you go, Game with Replay. I don't know, whatever you want to name it. It's basically derived so we can change out the settings in it. All right, so I'll go ahead and open this up. Once we open it up, we'll go to the side over to the Classes in the Details panel, and what we have is the... Um, uh, all the different classes we can override from default. Uh, the one we're mostly interested in is this replay spectator player controller class. And that again is what gets loaded up during a demo uh, recording. So we'll go ahead and change that to the new one we created, the PC replay spectator. All right, save that and close that. And then once we do that, we want to go over to our map and override this game mode. So now we have that set. All right, perfect. All right, so now what we will do is catch you uh, in the next video on setting up the game state. Thanks again for watching, and let us know if you have any issues with doing what we've uh, shown you in this video. Thanks again. Bye.